so ang pag-uusapan natin today with our guest, of course, Miss Kathy Kenningo, blogger, and Miss Roselle Ray. Author and COO of Global Knowledge. Good Hello, morning, girl. welcome back morning. and welcome to Rise and Shine. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. So I assume you are both mothers. Yes. 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 Okay. Apana naman pwedeng pagkakita ang let's let's talk about blogging first. Okay. How did you start? Oh, it started kasi with my son. Mm -hmm. Yun nga, um, people kept asking kasi unang apo, napagod ako na pa ulit, -ulit. <laughs> Somebody said, uy, may online journal, gusto mo document mo na lang doon. Ah. So, doon talaga siya nag-start. Um, which is, yun naman ang blogging. It's an online journal. So, you share your thoughts, your visions, and um, your dreams or your frustrations. And then, it kind of parang spiraled na lang into something na nagagamit na siya ng mga brands mm -hmm. para mag-promote ng mga products. Then you get the endorsements, sponsorships, you become ambassadors. Doon ka kumikita sa blogging. Uh -huh. Mga ads mo sa blog mo. But uh, madami bang mga uh, companies who really pay a lot for for blogging? I would Nowadays, say yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Kasi ano na, na-realize na nila yung value ng social media and blogging. Kung gaano ka-powerful yung words ng isang blogger. Lalo na pag-credible yung blogger. Na pag sinabi yes. niya, this is something Kailangan good. Credible. This is something good. It really is something good. At alam mo na hindi nagpapabayad basta yung blogger na. Basta binayaran, oo na lang siya ng oo. Um, maganda to kahit hindi naman talaga. Malalaman mo naman yan with how they write, if they really use it, if it's yes, a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. and, and what products they're, they're featuring, no? Oo, oh, kasi pag mm -hmm. nakita mo parang halo-halo na lang lahat, ito na lang palagi, or parang masyadong diverse na wala nang connection, alam mong binabayaran na lang, parang ad space na lang yung blog niya. Okay, dumako naman tayo sa writing, babalikan kita mm -hmm. mamaya. Kenny, uh, how do you make money from writing? Kasi yung sa kanya, writing din yun eh. It's uh -oh. blogging, it's almost the same. So, ano yung difference po nyo? Sa akin naman, more on prints. I have uh, books. I, um, nagpa-publish siya ka ng books. Yes, mm -hmm. um, I have six money books that um, uh, nirelease ko sa public. And na ngayon, naka-out na siya sa National Bookstore. So, itong mga books na to, um, very simple to write for moms. Madaling basahin kasi these are really um, easy to read. Yung may, meron tayong... Um, may <laughs> Meron yes. tayo na, like, uh, I'll give you an example. So, um, yung fonts nito are easy to read, tapos colorful ang... ang yeah, madaling mga pictures sa loob. Mga pictures sa loob, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So, madaling basahin whether you are a an 18-year-old or younger. Or, or an 80-year-old. Or an 80-year-old. So, ito naman, um, uh, since nasa national bookstores ito, mm -hmm. um, easily, uh, nakaka-accumulate siya ng passive income on a monthly basis. So, um, the, pag napunta na siya, kunyari sa any bookstore, yes. guaranteed na yun na may bayad? Or uh, no. kailangan may customers na bumili? Parang uh, kinonsign nyo muna. Kinonsign mm -hmm. lang namin. So, the book must be very attractive and uh, yung parang maraming yes. mag-buy para, para naman kumita si National Bookstore at saka yung author. Mm -hmm. no, it actually, yeah, sorry, it actually is attractive, no? Yeah. Kung pwedeng pakita natin yung, yung mga covers, mm -hmm. yung mga drawings. Oh. Yes, partner. Pero, parang like ako, syempre sometimes hinahanap ko yung author, di ba? Yes. Parang, eh, ang dami-daming authors ngayon. So, paano ka mapapansin? Anong marketing mo para mapansin ka out of all these authors na na kasabayan? Uh, usually, talaga sa book cover, malaki ang ah, impact. Yun ang book cover. Malaki ang impact. Kasi pag nagandahan sila sa book cover, na simplihan sila, tapos uh, sinigurado ko rin na medyo handy siya at saka maliit lang. Kung maga, Pwede mong ibulsa. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Yes. And in one to two hours, tapos mong basahin. Yes. And you get the message, you get to implement it immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon, since ang cover, per, medyo attract, kung attractive yeah, ang attractive cover, siya. mas madali siyang mapansin doon sa market. Mas madali kumpara doon sa ibang medyo, um, medyo academic. Yung dating, or yung medyo mahirap basahin, okay. or, or very plain ang cover. Okay, tanong ko lang. Um, kasi ang blogging, I think, mas madaling i-penetrate kesa sa paggawa ng book. Tama ba? Not necessarily. Kasi kung sa book, marami sila. Sa blogging, sobrang dami din. <laughs> sobrang dami. Kasi parang everyone has the idea na, ah, pag nag-open ako ng blog, blogger na ako. Mm -hmm. May invite na ako, mag endorse na ako, magiging sponsor na ako. So, hindi rin. Noong una, I would say, mas mabilis. Kasi konti lang, lalo na sa Pilipinas. Pero ngayon kasi parang everyday, thousands, millions nag-o-open ng blog. So, ngayon talaga, ang labanan, gaano ka-consistent, 
gaano ka ka-credible, gaano ka kasi pag mag-post daily, mag-post may, like oo. Mag-post, may relevance ba 'yung mga sinasabi mo? Mm-hmm. And syempre, 'yung mga brands, mga PRs, do they trust your site to speak about their brand? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I agree no because um of course, ang dami nang sasabi, okay, we have these bloggers. And then when you speak to them, like before you enter into something, you speak to them, parang mm, mm. I don't want these these people to blog about whatever exactly, brand, no? Exactly. And then, if you continue, like, let's say, kunyari, um, we always read her blog, and then you continue, and you see na, oh, she has sense, and hindi pare-pareho yung mga sinasabi, because, let's say, you talk about food. You you have exactly the same descriptions mm-hmm. all the time, mm-hmm. di ba? So, mga ganyan. Kailangan din, ano yan, eh, parang TV personality, ino-overhaul mo yung look mo, ino-overhaul reinvent. mo yung, yes, you reinvent yourself, tapos kailangan, mayroon laging something new, And importante din yung makakascoop ka ng mga places mm-hmm. to go to para i-recommend para yung mga tao alam nila na if they want something new they can go to your to blog. Your, yes, if yes. they want to learn something or, or they if, can go to your blog. If they want something, if they want to go to a place that's reasonable, especially now, no? Ang dami-daming mga batang lumalabas, but of course, the other places are a little too pricey, 'di ba? So, if you have that, then of course, that's very interesting. And at the Something same time, that use. with blogging kasi, kailangan personal ka pa rin eh. Hindi pwedeng parang napaka-add na ng dating ng mga sinusulat mo. Kailangan ng importante daw, my personal touch. Mm-hmm. Kaya like sa akin, when I write about food, ang feeling ng mga readers ko, nakikipagkwentuhan lang ako. Even when I tell them about an event that I went to or something, feeling nila, kinukwentuhan ko lang sila kasi that's how I really write. Hindi lang hard blog. sell. Hindi hard sell. Mm-hmm. Lagi akong parang kinukwento ko lang sa readers ko. And I still write about personal stuff. Okay. I write about my opinions on things. Now, kunyari gusto namin mag-start. Let's uh, yes. start with you. Um, ano yung puhunan? Or ano yung mga basic steps? How to, to yeah, how start, did you this start this business? Or? And you also later on. Uh, Siyempre, kailangan natin ng computer para doon tayo mag- mag- sulat, ano? Mm-hmm. Um, and next, yung ating knowledge, siyempre, lalagay natin dito na mm-hmm. parang easy to understand para sa ating masa. Ang kailangan din natin dito, puhunan din pagdating sa pag-print. Pero may mga... Yun, no? May bayad uh, oh, may, pag-print. Yes, may bayad. So, kung magsa-self-publish ka, uh, mas mahal kasi kukunin mo sa iyong pocket. Pero yes. kung i- La, ibibigay mo sa isang publishing house at makikipag uh, arrange ka na lang na may royalty fee ka na lang wala kang ilalabas na pera instead babayaran oh. ka pa nila mm. oh. kahit okay. sinong gu- gusto gumawa ng book pwedeng makipag-tie up sa mga publishers pwede basta i-approve nila na okay uh, yeah, kasi para kang nag apply noon eh kailangan approve nila o gusto nila yung book na sinulat mo mm. para i-publish nila at puhunanan nila okay you madam Madam. <laughs> ano po muna sa vlogging? Sa vlogging, um, same din, computer. Kasi to internet eh. Kailangan mm-hmm. online ka. So I guess, kailangan fast yung DSL connection mo as much as possible. Pero um, ako, I would say, unang-una talaga sa vlogging, puso. Mm-hmm. The desire to share, the desire to tell people about something. Um, wag mo isipin na, ah, mag-vlog ako para kumita. Kasi mm-hmm. magiging um, dry na yung vlog mo. Hindi na siya magugustuhan ng mga tao. So puso, passion for what you're doing and really the desire computer. to just share and computer <laughs> actually sa computer hindi din kasi may mga kilala kong bloggers na nagsimula nak ano na sila um, internet shop kasi uh-huh. di ba sabi nga nila pag gusto maraming paraan yes. and pag ayaw maraming dahilan so kung gusto mo lang talaga magsulat magshare kung wala ka pa namang pera pambili ng computer hindi mo kailangan yes, di ba mura na ngayon shop. ng mga computer shop wow, simulan yes. mo doon ngayon pag kumikita ka na kasi na natutuwa naman yung mga tao sa sinasabi mo tungkol sa isang produkto o sa isang lugar, pag kumikita ka na, may naipon ka na, saka mo nabilhin. Mm-hmm. Hindi mo kailangan gawing dahilan na kulang yung budget mo para hindi mo magawa yung bagay na gusto mo. Yes, I agree with that. No? Um, kailangan may puso. Passion. Yes. Kasi if not, eh, makahalata ng mga readers mo. Oh. Diba? And here, I can see, of course, Um, in your blogs and the way you write and even the way you speak, no? Pag, pag lahat ng sinasabi mo, sinulat mo, then okay. And then here, I like yung, yung of course, yung covers, magaganda. And, of course, you also have to read about the author in the back. And then, of course, makikita mo naman pictures, what she's done, and everything. And then, makikita mo naman kung meron ba siyang, uh, may sinasabi ba ito? <laughs> credibility. Or hindi Does she have credibility? <laughs> yes. ba? Diba? Yes. And then, you can also browse. Diba? Hindi naman ito, Um, it's not packed yet. You can, yeah. yeah, so you can browse and you can look at a few pages. And so far, easy reading, they're light. 
Mm-hmm. Gusto ko kasi it's light and it's small. <laughs> kasi sometimes with, with the times now, y- yung mga hardbound oh. books, ang bigat-bigat. Yes. And then you bring a book yes. when you travel, and some pocketbooks are really so heavy. True. Yes. No? So true. magandang ganito, easy reading, and you can finish a book yes. fast. No? Fast. Mm-hmm. One to two hours. Habang nagkakape ka, pwede mo siyang basahin. Yes. Yes. May matututunan ka pa. So, so meron iba na they like to hold something, yes. and yung iba are really just, they just want to read everything on the internet. Ayaw na nila magbasa ng yes. books. And oh. yun, iba-iba. And different ages, no? Mm-hmm. Yes. Different ages. Yun. Ngayon, ito na matanungin natin. Pag kumikita ka na sa vlogging or sa... How do you... Pagkagawa ng libro, pagsusulat ng libro, kaya ba itong tustusan yung uh, uh, kailangan sa pamilya? I, uh, um, is it um, lucrative or something? To give you an idea, kasi nagulat nga ako dun sa first uh, income ko dito sa book na to. Okay, what was your investment? Um, less than a hundred thousand, pero staggered payment. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ko pa nga bayad yung payment, eh, yung pag-publish ng book kasi staggered. So, I just pay on a parang deposit muna, ten thousand, and then after one week, two weeks, another ten thousand. Pero, um, nung, nung nai-out ko na sa National Bookstore, uh, yung first, yung first income ko was fifty-five thousand plus wow, nine thousand. Wow, in one month! And in that's one month, net. That's net. Plus, another month, sabi ko, baka chamba lang kasi hindi ko pa na, napopromote, etc. So, next month, another 65,000. Oh, wow! So, parang... Tapos oh, na! In two months. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, parang sabi ko, I can generate it fast para mabayaran ko rin yung aking um, publisher. Mm-hmm. So, ganun lang. And then, I'm, I, since out na lahat yung kulang na yung uh, 6,000 copies ko, I have to reprint another 6,000 copies. How did you start with this ano, oh, business? Uh, parang... Kasi siya, writer ka her talaga. son, hindi talaga, hindi, hindi ka uh, talaga writer? I'm not a writer. Oh, uh, pag pa pala. It was oh, just last, naman. siguro last year, I joined a coaching program. And sabi niya, mag, magbigay daw ng, ng, ano, ng um, personal at saka professional goal. So ang personal goal ko is to write at least one book. Sabi ko kasi I've been oh. writing all the, I mean, I've been reading books several years. I'm reading, okay. Reading, pero never pa ako nakasulat. So sabi ko, parang hirap-hirap kasi hindi nga ako makasulat yeah. ng isang page lang. And then, um, and then it was a 90-day program that I'll be coached, pero not in writing. I'll be coached na, oh, ginagawa mo na ba yan? Ganito, ganyan. Until after uh, thir- the 90 days, I was able to write um, 24 books. Include, <laughs> ito yun, including journals. So sabi ko, parang, uh, since then, na-practice talaga ako. Kaya ngayon, itong mga money books, I was able to do it in one day, two days lang per book. And then, immediately run it sa press. Kaya parang mabilisan. Kaya, even if I'm a mom, hindi ganun, kumaga, hindi niya talaga natitake yung sobrang time ko. I still have time for my, for my, for my office. I still have time for my kids. And I have time for, you know, marketing these books and appearing here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, yes. Yes. Can, can you just read the titles, no? Because yeah, they're very practical, no? Let's say, Fascinating Lady, Think, Move, and Look Feminine. Oh, yes. Yan. And then, I want a new job now. <laughs> Paano makahanap ng trabaho ang gusto mo at, at akma sa'yo. So stressed, manage your stress, and start enjoying your life now. It's time to have more time. Yes. O, mga paraan kung paano, mas maraming magawa sa mas maikling panahon. Controlling anger before it controls you. Oo, yung may and, mga problema sa anger management. And simple just, steps kung paano i-manage ang anger issue. And then you're just gonna keep getting bigger. Yes. Diba? yes. Yeah, kasi yes. Mak- mas habang tumatagal, mas makikilala ka ng tao. Parang ganun tama ba, Kenny? Yes, like how, oh, when you started. Side, oh. right? When I started sa vlogging, Yun nga, personal lang talaga. Mm. And then for the first six ma- six years, hindi ko sinishare sa mga tao. Pag may nagtatanong, may vlog ka, sasa ko, wala. Hindi ko, <laughs> talagang, hindi ko ino-open. The seventh year, parang doon ako na, sige, um, marami na namang vloggers. So, inisip ko, hindi din mapapansin ng mga tao kung meron. Mm-hmm. And then, the, try lang muna, try. But actually, it's just more of, sige, um, hindi ko na itatago yung vlog kasi marami na nagpa-vlog. And then, the invitation started coming. Una yung mga invite, akala ko scam. So, dinidecline ko. Mung swerte ako, um, merong isang PR na creative director. Reader ko pala talaga siya. So, um, gumawa siya ng effort. Pinasundo niya ako, in-explain niya sa akin kung ano mga events. Doon na nagsimula. And then, I guess, um, nagustuhan ng mga tao kung paano ako magsulat kasi parang nakikipagkwentuhan. And may tiwala sila. Nakuha ko na may tiwala nila. So, pag nag-recommend ako ng place, nag-recommend ako ng product, 
or nag-recommend ako ng things to do, nakikinig sila, nagre-react sila, sinasabi na na pumunta kami doon, na-try namin, tama ka nga. So sa akin naman, nakakataba ng puso yon Kasi ba diba, parang sa akin, nag-share lang ako. Mm-hmm. It's really just me talking about me, myself, and I, and my friends and family. And people started believing what I have to say. They started na parang to have faith na pag sinabi kong okay siya, okay siya. Pag sinabi kong hindi ko masyado to nagustuhan. Kasi lagi naman ako may disclaimer dahil iba-ibang mga tao, ba diba? Different strokes, different strokes. Yeah. for different, different folks. folks. So I will tell them, I didn't like this but I'm not really a fan of this. Perhaps mga fan ng, kunwari, uh, fan ng turmeric. Baka magustuhan nila ako kasi ko talaga gusto yon. Mm-hmm. So sinasabi ko, ina-explain ko bakit. Hindi din, um, hindi din naman kasi ako nang babash ng mga mga hindi ko talaga nagugustuhan. Mas more of, sabi nila, if you have nothing nice to say, don't, don't say, say na lang. So on my end, I don't write about it. I mm-hmm. won't recommend. Pag sinabi nila, do you like this? I'm not a fan. Kung baga, mm-hmm. I'm very diplomatic naman. Um, yung tanong mo, will it be parang enough to parang sustain? sustain? Oh, yes. Sustain. Uh, for blogging, unless andun ka na talaga sa sin, top blogger ka na. And it will take years, di ba? It will take years. Kasi mm-hmm. like ako, magta-10 years na yung blog ko. Mm-hmm. So matagal na siya. Pero unless nasa top ka na talaga, na you get endorsements, your um, sponsorships, I would say no. It really is passion. Yun siguro yung difference with yung writing na may books as opposed to blogging. Parang mas lucrative ang book. This is really more Lucrative. lucrative naman mm-hmm. kasi this would also take a lot more dedication and hard work. Mm-hmm. Again, oh, blogging really kasi talaga is more on passion. Kung for some reason ayoko magsulat bukas and for the next five months hindi ako magsusulat, walang magagalit, walang mm-hmm. magwawala. May mga concern kasi like pag hindi ako nagsulat for some time, lang. namimiss. Yes. Pero, kumbaga, hindi siya parang wala Violent kong editor action. or publisher na nasa na yung book, nasa na yung book. Ito kasi talaga, it's just you, you. and your commitment. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. yung mga taong iniisip nila, may kikitain, oo, may kikitain. Kasi pag vlog is it enough? Baka hindi. Yeah. I want to and know, no? And it will no, take years also. Yeah, so, kayong dalawa mothers, no? Um, gusto ko malaman kung uh, ano ang, uh, like, kunyari, yung panahon sa bahay, so, sa pag vlog or writing the books, no? Um, was it able to, to save time? Like, were you able to have more time in your house for your children? Oh, kasi ako, ang practice ko is that I wake up at 5 a.m. So, oh, like 5 a.m., 5.30, and then I start writing kasi nandun yung momentum ko. And then, pagdating oh, oh, ng mga... Oh, pa yung utak eh, maaga pa. <laughs> pagdating ng mga 9 a.m., magsastart na ako niyang mag-prepare for office. Kasi uh, the kids, um, ready na rin sila for school, and nakaalis na sila for school. Tapos, nandun ako sa office from 9 to 5. And then, when I um, go home again sa afternoon or sa evening, um, siguro before I sleep, mga 2-3 hours pa ulit ako magsusulat. And by then, medyo nangangalahati na ako sa book. So, matter of one week, pwedeng makatapos ako ng isa o dalawang book na maliit. It, that is, um, kasi ayoko nga siya mag-consume ng too much time sa akin. Uh, kasi I want to spend more time with the kids, with the family, with, uh, with my office, and with my other activities. And your office is... Uh... What uh, what what office do you what I have, work do you do? Yes, I'm I'm handling a, an IT training business, IT training company. It's a corporation that runs yung mga ethical hacking, security courses, and also um, yung uh, mga business courses also. Mm-hmm. Kaya medyo malapit talaga ako sa usually itong mga books na to, I also use this as training material sa office ah, namin. Yes, Kaya yes. double purpose. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just want to talk about yung perks, no? Really quickly. Ang blogging kasi ang daming perks eh. We all know that, <laughs> di ba? How about writing a book? Ano po yung mga perks na masasabi? Kami din, meron po kami perks as a, you know, as a TV personality. Um, Ano ba yung perks for for yeah, what, 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 what perks are you talking uh, about like the like um yeah freebies. the freebies and uh-huh. also kami we can also bring our children to work kanyan uh-huh. diba sometimes and also you know the freebies like uh yung the sponsors like uh-huh. that sa mga bloggers then they have mga events and sponsors sa paggawa po ng libro sa paggawa ng libro syempre meron na akong control over the books that I'm doing so for example I want to uh, advertise our other courses then, um, pwede kong ilagay dito sa, sa front page. Ayan, may advertisement. Or, oh, may, advertisement may advantage doon. So, if for mm-hmm. example, I want to endorse another company like uh, an insurance company or whatever, then pwede ko siyang ilagay dito. Yeah, yeah, Either with the pay or without pay, um, pwede ko siyang include dito. So, medyo mas may control ako on, uh, you know, promotion and advertisement. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, when you go around, no, do people ask, uh, like, questions? Like, kunyari, 
ito, they ask more questions. O, ma- gusto ko magbayad ng utang. O, paano naman yan? Then, aside, aside from reading this, do they also ask you since they know you yeah. in the office? You know, they call me. Nagugulat nga ako. Sabi niya talaga, Ma'am, sobrang, sobrang thank you. Kasi napakadaling basa yung book mo. Tapos, ordinaring uh, nagtitinda lang ako. Tapos, ang dami kong natutunan. I hope I can meet you one day. Parang, ha? Talaga. Ay, ah, <laughs> Kasi um, they really call me and they nagpapasalamat na parang hindi ko naman ina-expect. So siguro isa yun sa mga perks na I never really expected from the start. Gusto ko lang talaga magsulat, mag-share, and mapunta ito sa bookshelves ng mga ng normal na, na Filipino. Ng, um, how, how do you get it dun sa bookshelf? Like, let's say, this is new for the month of May. O, paano naman ito magiging doon sa gitna? Pagpasok mo sa bookstore, itong unang makikita mo. Ay, ay wala akong ka-effort-effort. Ah. Hindi ko nga siya ina-effortan pa ngayon. Kaya si kakalabas lang nito last February. Uh, ah. January, February. So, um, hindi ko pa to... So, may ako, ROI ka na. So, may ROI na ako. Congratulations! <laughs> so, inisip ko nga, what more if, for example, I'm seeing some books that uh, are selling like for 20,000 copies. Parang sabi ko, pangarap ko yata, yun na. Ah. Pero again, it'll take time. You just started last year, right? I started, yeah, last year. Wow, congrats. Na, sobrang last year. Wow. <laughs> sobrang last uh, year. Sobrang last <laughs> year. Hindi ko kasi ma-imagine, sobrang, um, ma- talagang tinutukan ko ito. I'll finish this book in one week, and then I'm done. Focus na ako sa iba, kasi it's really gonna drain you. Yes, and kailangan, drain. kailangan may discipline, no? Like, discipline. at a certain time, kaya at 9 o'clock, you have to uh, prepare for the office. And then you, like, what time do you sleep? I Sometimes, sleep you can go on and on. Lang. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah kasi I write go, naman Especially night. online, you just, you can go on and on and read so many things. Mamaya, ay, nako. Uh-uh. Ako Umaga naman, na. sa, sa, ako ang pagbabasa ko sa computer and mm. sa online. Yung iba sa books. Yeah. yeah. Oo, oo. So, parehas na may market pa rin at the yes, end of the yeah. day. Pero, oh, may kanya-kanya kami yung market. Sige, and we still support each other. Yeah, that's good. Sige, any parting message for our televiewers? Ako, ako, um, ang gusto ko lang po sana ay makakuha kayo ng copy ng books na ito. Kasi gusto ko pong uh, matutunan natin kung paano mag-retire ng milyonaryo. Yun yung bottom line. Kasi 2% lang ng mga tao sa yes, atin. Yes, book, no? Yeah, ito, um, mag-retire ng milyonaryo. Kasi 2% lang ng mga Filipinos nag-retire ng medyo may kaya o can afford. Usually, ang kanilang retirement plans ay yung kanilang mga anak. Umaasa na sila pagdating ng 60, 65 years old. So, uh, nandiyan na yung burden. Whereas ngayon, habang kaya pa natin and may pag-asa pa, we can actually um, accumulate our income, um, invest natin sa tamang paraan. Nandito yung mga ways kung paano mag-invest. And eventually, kapag tanda natin, meron tayong makukuha at hindi tayo aasa sa ating mga anak. Instead, pwede pa natin silang ilibre ng mga regalo or pwede yes. natin silang itreat uh, outside the country. Hindi yung tayo yung magiging pabigat. So ngayon pa lang, pagplanuhan na natin, I hope uh, that this book will will help you mm-hmm. sa inyong pag-increase ng financial literacy or financial quotient. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rosel. And congratulations. congratulations. Thank you. How about you, Kathy? Um, yes, hi. Please uh, visit my blog. It's www.lifeiscoolifeful.com. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at Miss Kathy Kenny. Also, um, I just want to say thank you to Yao Yan Alasan. They've been helping me become more physically fit in yung bagong advocacy ko. Kasi narealize ko na tayo mga mommies, kailangan inuuna din natin yung sarili natin. And thank you to Wishcrafted and Dominice. Yan! Yeah. And health is well. Yes. Pwede po ako may isa pang pahakal? Yes, sure. Kasi um, doon sa aking company, Global Knowledge, we are promoting the What the Hack or IT Security Summit 2015, which will be on July 1 and 2 sa uh, Fort Bonifacio. So, uh, ini-invite ko po yung mga IT security enthusiasts or yung mga ethical hackers, yung mga digital forensics uh, investigators. Please, um, mag-join kayo dun sa, sa event namin yan. Thank you. Yeah. Ano ba itong hackathon? Yes, it's ah, like hackathon. Perfect. <laughs> Mag-usap tayo mamaya. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Ang daming pag-asa para sa mga nanay. It's never too late! Yeah. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> well, like, okay, mo wala na pag-asa. Kaya, wag po kayong aalis. Susunod na ang ating quick meal only here on Rise